Hi everyone, welcome to part two of my little Quizlet mini tutorial series. My name is Rory Yakubov. I'm a high school math teacher in Old Bridge, New Jersey, and I've been using Quizlet for the past three years inside of my classroom and outside of my classroom now with remote learning. There's a lot of things I want to share with you in this video today. In my previous video, I showed you how easy it was to set up an account, create classes, create a study set pretty easily, how easy it is to share that study set, also put that study set into your class periods that you set up, how easy it is to have your students actually join you in those classes, and a lot of little mix of things in between. So today I have a few things that I definitely want to show you. Number one, I want to show you what it would look like to find someone else's study set and actually copy it into your own account edit it however you want and kind of make it your own. I also want to show you how to merge study sets together. That's what I generally do. Um, you saw in my previous video, each lesson has its own study set. And then from there, I simply merge them together and combine them and make a quiz study set or a test study set. So I'm going to show you that today as well. And then also I want to show you what some of the extra features are about the paid teacher account. I mentioned it briefly before in my other video, but I didn't kind of go into some of the other details and that's what I want to make sure I show you today. So first thing I want you to do, and again, I mentioned this in my other video, best thing you could do guys is split your screens right now and make sure you have my screen up with this video and then maybe also on your screen another new tab so you can open up your Quizlet account and then kind of follow along with me so that you're preparing these study sets for whatever classes you teach. All right, so um, here I'm in my account and I'm just gonna click on my sets so you can see my page. Remember your Quizlet page is simply quizlet.com slash your Quizlet name. And as a teacher, make sure it's something really, really easy for students to find um, so that they can find it with no issue at all. So now second thing, is we are going to go ahead and we're going to click search. Now, as teachers, we are super busy. We have a lot on our plates. We have time to create materials for sure. I mean, that's our job. But also what's really nice is being able to share responsibilities with a coworker. Um, if I make a study set, I'm gonna share it with a coworker. If they make a study set, they're going to share it with me. That would be the ideal situation, I would think for sure. But sometimes we run out of time and we just need to find someone else's study set. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to find a study set that someone else made that they put out publicly. So you can always make your study sets private. That means only you have access to them. Or it could be public where I could go ahead and find them. My account is fully public. So if you were an Algebra 1 teacher and you said, hey, you know what? I'd love to create my Algebra 1 study sets, but I also see that Rory has them all made for the entire year. You could go ahead and do whatever I'm showing you right now with any of my study sets that I have, or even all of them. You do have to do them one by one, but once you get into the swing of things, it's super simple. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to imagine that I need to teach um, a lesson on... Let's just do something super simple. Solving absolute value. So I'm going to get to this page and here what I'm going to see is that first there are sets that are really amazing sets and um, they're best. This one's a bestseller. They happen to be sets that you have to pay for. But if you scroll down, you'll start to see sets that you can see are created from a teacher. So here I'm looking at this set and I can see what some of the problems and the answers are. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, these are absolute value inequalities. That looks good. This one here says solve absolute value equations. So I might say, you know what? That's actually what I wanted. I wanted to have a study set of solving absolute value equations. So I'm gonna go ahead and I can see the teacher's name who created this. I'm gonna click on it. And then after I click on it, I'm gonna be able to scroll down and I'm gonna be able to see the 12 problems that are in this study set. So I get to see each one and I can say, hey, you know what? This looks like exactly what I want um, instead of me typing this in, which doesn't take a lot of time, but let's say again, you're pressed for time. Um, this looks like exactly what I want. 
and it's created by this other person, I could say, you know what? I really want to add this to my list of study sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign and I could directly add it to one of my class periods and say, Hey, you know, this is a study set that I want you to do or my other option, sorry, is to click on my, is to click on customize. And if I click on customize, it looks like a copy, like a duplicate button from customize. Now look, the title is here. This looks exactly what it looks like when we create our own study set. All of the problems and answers are here. Now me personally, I'm probably going to want to switch the order because I like to have my problems on the uh, right and my answers on the left. Okay. But this looks good. This little switcheroo button here, the little flip, it says flip terms and definitions. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And once I click that, it's now set up the way I want it, where it's problem on the right, answer on the left. Also, I probably would want to go ahead and just add in some extra spaces wherever I need. That's the beauty of this guys. Everything is completely editable. Okay. If I didn't like that, the solutions were just listed like this with the braces, I go ahead and type in X equals in front. I could remove problems. I could add problems. I could change anything I want. So you saw how easy it was. I just typed in exactly what I was looking for. And then I simply go ahead and fill whatever I want. I could use the highlighting features, any of my other bold or italics. And let's say I just go at, went ahead and I finished that up. Now, once I click create, okay, it's now going to save this study set under my name. So now solving absolute value equations, this 12 problem study set. And again, just like after we created a study set, it lets you share it immediately, post on Google Classroom, on Remind, I can copy the link, anything like that. And now it's showing that it's created by me. So I copied it, I edited it just a little bit, and now it's under my name. And my students will be able to do any of the features that I showed you in the previous video about using write, test, matching game, anything like that. If I go back to my Quizlet account, my study sets, I will see that solving absolute value equations is in my list. Um, if I have it sorted alphabetically, I'd have to go all the way down to where S is, and that might take a little bit of time. You can also filter. So if I had solving absolute, you'll see it'll pop up right here and I can access it pretty quickly instead of scrolling. You can also always sort by latest. So since this was the latest one I did, it says a few seconds ago, that was the study set that I need. Awesome. Now let's say I have this study set or I don't need it anymore. I Let's say I have this study set. I don't need it anymore. I don't want it in my list. You always have the option in your triple dots to just go ahead and delete it. So I'm gonna delete this set again, just to show you have that option. Just because you create a set doesn't mean it stays there. Doesn't mean it stays there forever. You can totally get rid of it. Okay, so now here's something else that I wanna show you. Let's say that I am in my sets and I have all of these individual, I'm going to sort alphabetically. That's just my favorite way to go. I have all these chapter test reviews and I want to make a unit review. So I want to combine chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three as kind of like a marking period review unit. Now, can you imagine how painful it would be to create a brand new study set and type in 147 problems? plus another 201, plus another 137. I have no time for that. No one does. So here's how easy it is to take any of the study sets you created and merge them together. And that's actually how I created these chapter test reviews. I took all of the lessons from chapter one, I combined them together and made that chapter test review. So if you wanna combine however many sets you wanna do, you click on one of the sets that you wanna combine into a bigger set and then when you have your options here, okay, you're going to click on your triple dots and you're going to click combine.
Okay, so combine takes you to the screen and it says you're currently combining one set. So chapter one, test review expressions. So I wanna go ahead and I wanna combine it with chapter two, test review and chapter three, test review. All of my study sets are listed here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to find my algebra chapter two test. Oh, here's my algebra chapter three test. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus sign. Remember there's no submit button for this. It's just once you click the X, uh, the plus sign rather, you're good to go. And here's my chapter two test review plus. That was easy. So now it says I'm combining three sets. I've got 485 terms. That's a lot, but that's excellent, right? You can keep your students busy for days, weeks, whatever it is. So now here's where you have to just be a little careful. You might not want, you don't want to click go right away. Go will create it as a mix of a problem set for you. But what I really want to do is want, I want to create a brand new set. So click on where it says cards in the drop down, click on create a set and then click go. Okay, and so it took those three chapter tests. You can see what it actually called it, and I'm about to change this in a moment, but you can see, oh my God, the amount of problems is insane. It's obviously going to be that 480 something amount of problems. I can go ahead, I can highlight all of this and call it my algebra one, unit one review chapters one, two, and three. I click create, and now I have that now combined merged study set. And I could do exactly what I did all the other times. I could send it directly. I could drop it into classes, add to class or folder. I could share it however I wanted to, or I can just sit inside my um, study set list. Okay, the last thing I wanted to really make sure I shared with you in this video are some of the features about Quizlet, uh, the paid teacher version. So when I started using Quizlet in my classroom, it was because we had gotten a class set of laptops and from having the class set of laptops, I really needed to make sure I use them the best, most efficient way, but also I wanted to find something where my students were using the laptops in class but whatever program we were using, they could still use at home. And Quizlet was just the perfect match because whatever study sets they were working on in class, they could use, they could work on at home, on any digital device, especially their phones. So I really wanted to make sure that it was, you know, the most accessible. When I started with the free version, I was doing everything that I'm showing you now. I was still merging study sets, creating them, finding other study sets, editing them. But along with the paid version, there's no ads on my screen. So for me as a teacher, when I'm working, the least cluttered possible is my ultimate ideal situation for creating these study sets. So when you look at my screen, you'll see there's no advertisements anywhere, which is just a little incentive bonus. The second thing that's also amazing is that when I'm creating a study set, now along with the paid version, you can put in pictures. So I've created a lot of study sets where I've needed to add in pictures of tables, graphs, things like that. So when I go to create a new study set and I click here, image, and you'll only have this option with the paid version, I can search for an image that's already existing in the library. So search for an image. Okay, it says search Quizlet images. So let's say I'm gonna just type in equation. I'm gonna get some random images. Maybe it's something that I actually need or I could use, that's great, okay? Or I can upload my own image. So let's say I really wanted to have my own images. I have all of my images, let's say in my pictures folder. Here I purposely just put one picture in, it's just of the coordinate plane. But now that picture is going to be in my study set. So here that image is there, I can click on the plus sign, and this is what it will look like for the students if they want to enlarge it. So I might say, you know, um, maybe it's a vocabulary list thing, something like this, and I have something that says, uh, what is the name of the diagram? And the answer is the coordinate plane. And I've put in pictures of graphs, 
I've put in pictures of tables, things like that. So I'm actually going, I'm not gonna save this study set, but I'm actually gonna show you what some of my study sets look like that I have put in pictures so you can see what an impact it does have. So this is one of my study sets where I have a mix of problems where I typed the problem in with the answer about writing an equation of a line in slope intercept form. And so most of them were typed, but then I did also add in pictures um, so, you know, what is the equation of the line? And students had to look at the graph and then be able to answer, match it with that equation. So adding in pictures of tables has been super, super helpful. Again, what's nice is that you could use this study set and copy it into your account with even the free version, the teacher version. So you just need the paid version to create and have those images in and add whatever images in. But even with the free teacher account, you could copy the study set and make it your own. You wouldn't be able to edit the pictures or change the pictures out. They just are permanently there, but that's completely up to you. And the last amazing option with the paid teacher account is that when you're playing Quizlet Live, students are able to pick their own groups. So Quizlet Live is such an amazing experience for students. They are assigned one of these study sets and then they are put into groups automatically by Quizlet and then they have to work as a group to answer the questions as quickly as possible. With the paid account, you can have students either get randomly put into groups or you can have students actually choose their groups. Now, this past year when I did that, a lot of uh, classes of mine loved getting to pick their own groups, but I had one class in particular, they hated it. They always just wanted to be randomly placed. So with the paid teacher account, you have that option with the free account, they are only ever randomly placed, which works out really nicely anyway. Um, but that's just definitely a key feature. Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on my journey as I'm going through remote learning, and I'm always here to share. I have a lot of Quizlet videos also saved on my Instagram profile, so if you need any of that help, it is there for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.